Well, Jamie, honours are even at the end of that uh, afternoon's contest. Is it a point we're happy with? Yeah, I think it. I think it is. Um, considering we went behind, you know, we're disappointed with um, with the goal we conceded. Um, we would have liked to have started the second half a bit brighter. Um, we asked for a little bit more of an intensity and a bit more bravery with the ball. We started a little bit slow. I think the goal again has probably got us into action mm -hmm. um, because you know the last 30, 35 minutes, um, I thought we were outstanding. Um, we had countless opportunities, um, potentially a penalty, which was which was turned down as well. Um, but it was a great reaction to going a goal down. It's always a difficult place to come, you know, regardless of where Telford on the table. A really good manager, some really good players on paper. Um, you know, and we we had to work hard, and it was a it was a hard fought point for us on the road. You certainly set your stall out here when you you know in the first half. You're a bit frustrated coming in at half time without the lead. Yeah, for the first 15, 20 minutes we were brilliant. Um, you know, considering the the long journey down and stuff. But I thought we moved the ball really well. We got into some good areas. What we'd spoke about on Thursday night in training and what we'd worked on. I think that we had a little bit of a lull probably from the 20, 25th minute to the end of the half. Um, fair play to Telford. You know, they they're effective at what to do. Um, they put long balls and diagonals on us, and you know we possibly lowered our standard a little bit and got involved in a, in a bit of a battle rather than having that composure with the ball um, but we readdressed one or two things at half time um, like I say we didn't get the start that we wanted um, but I think the way we finished the game you know we, we potentially could have nicked it as well in the end. Glenn Taylor ever reliable and it was just something about his, his, his stance and everything about that free kick you could just tell this was going in the net. Yeah, um, there was a little sweep on the bench. I think <laughs> no, they, um, we fancied him, and I think you always fancy Glenn in around the box. You know, dead ball situations. He, he strikes a ball as good as anybody at this level and, and the levels above. Um, it's a great strike. I think he's used the surface really well, um, and it come at a really important time. Um, and I think even after that, we had a, about 10 or 15 minutes where it was go on, we'll get the other one. You know, the fans were roaring us on behind the goal. I thought they were absolutely magnificent today. Um, but yeah. Yeah, Glenn, Glenn comes in big moments and uh, that was another one of his for his collection today. I think that's right, he'll probably correct me because I know he keeps a chart, a chart on these. I think that's double figures for the National League this season for right. Glenn again. Yeah. 300 appearances on New Year's Day as well, is, is, the applauds keep on coming for them, don't they? Yeah, he's immense. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff that he does away from the football club. Um, he sacrifices a lot to to be at the stand and, and the level that he's at. You know, his performance today was was different class. He was up against three really big physical centre halves. The way, way he manipulated the ball, looked after it, and brought people into play. Um, I thought he was different class. You know, and it's it's lovely to see him getting their accolades because he's a brilliant person as well as a top player. And in terms of the you know the momentum, it, it just keeps the unbeaten run going. I know we wanted that fourth successive win in the league, but you know still unbeaten and it, it rolls on. Yeah, we've just said after the game, you know, good teams find a way. Um, you know, and if if you don't win, you don't lose. And we, we want that culture, we want that mentality where if we're not going to get over the line and get the three points, we don't lose the game. Um, and we've probably been in games this year we would have lost that today. Um, but we finished the game really strong and I felt if there was one team going to go on and win the game it was us and that's really pleasing to see um, there's been a little shift in the mentality um, we're looking up like I said last week rather than looking behind us um, and that shift in the mentality is really really important for what we want to create at the football club Two debutants this afternoon how would you rate their performances? I thought Dan was absolutely brilliant. Um, I thought his um, positioning, he commanded the box um, really well. He knew the right times when to play or when to maybe go along. Um, it, was a, it was a really controlled performance from him, very confident performance coming away to you know, a big physical team like Telford. Um, I think Ryan will really benefit from that from that game as well. Um, we spoke to him at half time, maybe just being a little bit quicker, sharper, but I thought his second half performance was absolutely top draw. Um, both are going to be you know, big players for us and we're looking forward to developing them and working with them. One negative, it looked like a pretty painful injury for Tom Allen, who'd look bright since he came on as well this afternoon. Do we know any more about that injury as yet? Um, he's in there now. Um, obviously, Jamie's assessed him. Um, he's got a bit of ice on there. Um, it's potentially going to be the next 24, 48 hours where we maybe know a little bit more. Um, I'm gutted for him. Um, you know, we, we extended his loan because of how good he's been over the past month or so. Um, you know, he's been really direct. He's caused lots of problems in the games. And when he come on this afternoon, like you say, he was a real threat and a real problem and he was probably the one that should have won the penalty for us um, so we keep our fingers crossed because he's a great lad and a fantastic player and you know hopefully it's not going to be anything serious